The year is 1999. The Cold War has been over for more than a decade, and for the first time in a half century, the world is free from the specter of nuclear apocalypse. It should be a time of peace and prosperity, but all over the globe, the embers of old animosities have been fanned into flame by the winds of freedom. Terrorism in the 21st century is an international industry. Money and expertise flow freely through the global computer nets, and every type of weapon imaginable is available on the black market of the third world. It has become harder and harder for the security forces of individual nations to combat this threat to the safety of their people. What's needed is an organization with the resources and the authority to fight terrorism wherever it flourishes. It would be composed of the best and brightest counter-terrorism experts from every country and armed with state-of-the-art weapons and equipment. It would operate in absolute secrecy, its existence known only to the most senior government officials. It would attack swiftly and silently, cutting off the head of the Viper before it had a chance to strike. Such an organization already exists. Its code name is Rainbow. Operation Steel Wind. Earlier this evening, armed members of the terrorist organization Free Europe seized control of the Belgian embassy in London. Your mission is to retake the embassy with minimal civilian losses. Looks like we've got our first real job. The Brits would love to send in the SAS, but the word from Brussels is no way. And London says the same about the Belgian ESI. I don't have to tell you that we're going under the microscope on this one. There are folks on both sides of the Atlantic who still aren't convinced that there's any need for a group like Rainbow. Take your time and study the situation carefully before you light the fuse. If we blow it the first time out, they may just shut us down. Waiting for orders.
contact. <laughs> Roger that.
Man down. Man. 